It's very easy to say, I love God. But the way you prove your love for God, as I'll show you in a moment, is you prove your love for God by loving other people. If you can't love people, you really don't love God. And a lot of people are running around talking about how much they love God, but they have a hateful spirit toward other people. And it's really a, a diamet diametrically opposed to the very nature of what God says is godliness. Because to be godly is to be like God, and God is love. God is love. Good relationships are essential for a productive life. If you want to be more productive in your life, you're going to need to have people around you. You can do more when you're with people than you can do by yourself. Teams accomplish far more than individuals. You can accomplish certain things on your own, but that's so much better when you work together with people. Take a look at these verses with me just for a moment. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. If someone says, I love God, but hates a Christian brother or sister, that person is a... Boy, the scripture goes right to it, right? Okay. That person is a liar. For if we don't... Notice this. For if we don't love people we can see... How can we love God whom we cannot see? God says, if you say you love me, you can't even see me. And the way that you prove that you love me is by loving the people that you can see. And that is demonstrating the love that you have indeed for me. Take a look at the book of Ecclesiastes, excuse me, Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend does what? Your life is sharper when you have friends in your life. And then Ecclesiastes tells us in chapter 4, two people are better off than one. By the way, Ecclesiastes is another book written by Solomon. It follows the book of Proverbs. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? Because relationships are important, read the rest with me, they are what? The devil is after the relationships in your life. The devil wants to attack your relationships. Because if he can attack successfully the relationships of your life by planting seeds of division, planting seeds of destruction in your relationship, by driving people apart, then in essence he accomplishes the work of reducing your effectiveness in the world around you. So you must understand that relationships are the target of spiritual attack. That's why marriages have trouble. It's not just because people are hard to get along with. It's because the devil does not want a marriage to succeed. That's why friendships have problems, not just because friends are difficult, but oftentimes it's a spiritual attack trying to drive people apart because there's power in unity, there's weakness in division. 